What's going on, y'all? Uh, R&B Divas LA Season 5. I don't know what episode this is. 7, 8, one of those. But, uh, I got jumped by the little niggas. Look, Baby Boy. <laughs> y'all watch Unsung Hollywood. They did the finale with Baby Boy. Yeah, I like the way they break that shit down. That was cute. I'm going to watch it again. But anyway, moving on. See, that's how uh, this episode... I don't know. Like, I could deal... When Kelly Price was on season one, I could deal with her. Even though she was being a bitch and she irked me, I still like Kelly Price because I knew of her, knew what she was about. Well, I didn't know this side of her that she was this much of a bitch. But still, I don't dislike Kelly Price. Like, I still listen to her shit or whatever. You know, even though she a bitch, I still go out there and buy her shit or whatever. Even though I talk shit about her. But, you know, it is what it is. And it made for good TV. Like, I was here for that little drama. Last season, you know, we had everybody else that was on there because I knew of them and I knew their work and all that stuff. This season, it is not connecting with me at all. No, sir. No, ma'am. No, God. Because... You got people on here. At first, I was like, who the fuck is a brave? Okay. And then on this episode, like, this episode actually made me really like brave. Like, you know, she's sitting in the studio with Warren um, Campbell. He listening to her music. That little session when she did that little freestyle, I was like, okay, bitch. You know, you you, you, you did something for me. I was like, all right, because I was still sitting here like, bitch, what the fuck did you do? But she was singing her little song and... You know, he wanted to work with her. It obviously is something about her that, you know, drew him in. It wasn't her going out seeking him. You know, that's when you know your shit is good when other people notice you without you even trying to reach out to them and they reach out to you first and they big name. So I was like, okay, you know, Brave is Brave released some shit. I got to go back on YouTube and look at her stuff because I might just buy some stuff. If she released a new album, whatever, I will buy it. I will support it. You know, it changed my perception. I didn't dislike her. I just didn't know of her. You know, y'all say she was from the group Rich Girl and I was like, okay, cool. That's cute. But I still didn't know of that. And I never had, like, a real negative perception, uh, perception of her. Then you add Stacey Francis. And I've been, I have yet to say one nice thing about this bitch since she came on this show. And she is making this show so fucking unbearable to watch because she just annoys the fuck out of me. Because, like I say in every review that had her on this show in the past, what, three episodes or whatever. Who the fuck... How the fuck and why the fuck are you here? And then you got Lil Mo and her little stank ass attitude. Like, I actually liked Lil Mo last season, the season before that. And now I'm just like disgusted by her. Okay? She just very, ugh. All right? Like her attitude, you know? And it, it, this whole thing is, and it, 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 it irks me that, you know, Leela James is trying to get everyone together and. You know, they're trying to put out this message about early detection of breast cancer and putting out this message how you need to go to the doctor to get yourself checked because you never know what's going on. OK, putting out this endearing, loving message and showing this friendship between Leela and her best friend. And I just love that part about this whole episode and all the Leela parts so far. You know, she's showing Leela ain't never been about that bullshit. She like, fuck all this drama shit. We coming together for this damn project. I want to do this project, a song, and let all the proceeds go to cancer, or cancer, you know, foundation or whatever, for to charity or whatever. Everybody damn near has been affected by cancer. Can we come together and do something, you know, about this? My best friend is, you know, suffering from it. And at the very beginning, child, when she was sitting there with her friend at that uh, cancer place and she was telling her story, how she had uh, stage three cancer, breast cancer, and she had the double mastectomy. And then, you know, she went to remission and all that stuff. And that's so you know, it came back. It came back and metastasized. I hope I said that right. Either way, y'all know what it is. In her lungs, her liver, in her back. I said, Jesus Christ, listen. I don't have time for shit like that. I'm not emotionally equipped for stuff like that. Don't tell me. You know, I'd probably be the one that would back away a little bit until, you know, I know it's a little selfish thing. It, it it feels a little selfish. Like, if you tell me you got something, you know, going on wrong with you like that, I'd be like, 
you know it's going to be all right, but I'm going to have to back away for like a few seconds, you know, a few days or whatever until I get myself together until I can deal with it. Mind you, you the one that's dealing with it, really, but I got to deal with it so I can be strong enough to deal with it for you. Well, not for you, but help you through it. Chat, it's just a lot. You know, don't let the hardness and the G in me fool you because, bitch, strike the wrong chord and just crumble. You know, it's just, it's just... It, I just like the message of it, you know. And then Leela trying to have all the girls over to the house. And Stacy is over there, too. So Stacy is the new member, I guess. And we'll get on this bitch. So they talking. Even Michelle was there. And um, they was talking about Chrisette Michelle leaving. Chrisette, girl, what is that? I was drinking some soup. So if it was some white stuff, it's this... Broccoli soup or whatever I was drinking, so don't don't try me. I just said what it is. But um <laughs> Hey y'all, Shatira said uh, <laughs> look, no, I don't know why I just got geek. Oh girl, Shatara just accepted my uh, <laughs> my Instagram <laughs> from catfish. Ah, <laughs> that is so wrong. Look, <laughs> if y'all didn't see my catfish review. From there tonight, y'all understand why that just made me laugh. Why, anyway, 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 girl, hey, girl, you know, moving the fuck on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> why does this shit make me laugh? Let me start. Ashley, you're doing a little bit much, okay? Get the shit out. They like, bitch, hurry the fuck up, okay? I'm trying, I'm trying, but no. They talking about Chrisette leaving, and they like, oh my god, I can just feel the uh, atmosphere and the, the the air around us just kind of change, and it's leaving this void and all this stuff, and she's just leaving. And I understand why she's leaving. And here go Stacy want to bring up the fact, well, you know, she was being kind of shady and rude to me, and very off putting to me. Um, I didn't, I was trying to see if I was offending her, and she didn't want to talk to me, and all this stuff. And you know, she was doing this and doing that. And Miss Chalet, I'm just sitting here like, you bring up, see, the thing is, Stacy, you bring up shit at the wrong fucking time. It was not the time or the place to bring that up. You wait till everybody is having fucking fun and all that shit to bring shit up. And bring the um the stuff down that you're supposed to talk to that person in private about. And then Miss Shalay was like, so you mean like you um fucked up my birthday party? And then she was like, girl, ain't nobody messed up your party. I asked you a question. She was like, you didn't even let me come in and, you know, enjoy the party for five minutes before you start asking questions that you um, weren't even supposed to be asking. And then Stacy get on the defense. Stacy going at Miss Shalay, and I'm like, Miss Shalay, you better hold your motherfucking on. Miss Shalay was going back at I said, that's my bitch right there. And then Shantae was like, hold up, hold up. Um, Y'all don't need to be doing this. And here go where Stacy really fucked up for me right here. She said, no, um, Shantae, you can sit, s slow your roll. You can shut that down or some shit like that. I said, wait a minute. Shantae said, excuse me? And I said, who the fuck do you think you are? Who are you, bitch? Okay? And I'm just sitting here like, you are totally in the wrong. And like Michelle said, whatever going on between me and Lil Mo is going on between me and Lil Mo. We don't need no goddamn mediator. And then Lil Mo gonna talk about something I'm finna go because all this bullshit I'm not here for. I'm like, girl, it, why, that's your friend. Why don't you shut your motherfucking friend down? Okay? You the one that brought this bitch up in the group. Okay? So, sh uh, it just irked me. And then Leela just like, this is so fucked up. We supposed to be here about this damn cancer stuff. And y'all up here arguing. And why they in the midst of arguing, Bray broke out in prayer. Because that was the only way to get these bitches to shut the fuck up. And get them back on track. So they was like, who should we get, you know, to do the song? Of course, they go with Warren. Um, they go to the studio to meet with Warren about the song. Michelle doesn't show up. Now, if Michelle did not call and say she wasn't going to show up, that's fucked up. Obviously, she got a habit of doing that. If she did call and they didn't put it in the show, okay, that's understandable. Um, Lil Mo, for you to be upset, girl, calm the fuck down, okay? You there. You got your part. You know what it is. Let her do what she got to do. She, maybe she couldn't find a babysitter in time or whatever. Maybe she had to go pick her kid up from school, okay? You got a whole tribe of them, all right, and a baby daddy at home. So, therefore, you know, you got a babysitter or whatever the fuck. Calm the fuck down, okay? You just... 
she irks me. Like the way that she treats Miss Shalay now, all of a sudden this season, it just it just baffles me. Like, bitch, was you really her friend? Cause I'm no friend treat no other friend like that. That's some bullshit. And then Warren was like, you know, that's when uh Warren was like, so I know everybody's voice here just about, no, except for you, brave. And then you, Stacey, why don't you give me a listen? I don't know your voice. He playing on the piano. This bitch started singing Amazing Grace or some shit like that. And when I say totally fucking extra, let me get my TV shine. Um, I guess these bitches don't know I can somewhat sing because that sounded horrible. I'm not even trying to be shady. I'm trying to go by what my ears what they heard, okay? And what they heard was a horrible ass fucking mess. It sounded like a cat being killed, okay? It sounded like a dog in fucking heat. It just sounded so horrible to me in my ears, all right? And what made it sound horrible is the fact that she put in all these unnecessary runs and grunts. Bitch, who are you singing for? Who are you trying to impress? Why? He just wanted to hear the tone of your voice and stuff. You didn't need all that shit. That annoyed the fuck out of me. Everybody else sitting there like, okay, bitch. But then when Warren asked um Brave to do her shit, they was like, yeah, she can rap too. And Brave, I don't know if it was pre-written or if it was a freestyle. Either way, I was feeling it. I was like, go ahead, bitch. Okay, that's cute. And, um, you know, after that, the cute little scene with, oh, also in that little meeting. Come to find out, Shantae has spoken to Warren's sister, Joy, who's, um, she's a songwriter. She wanted her to write her part. And that's how the uh, thing got started, I think, too. Because Stacy wanted to put her opinion in and like, you know, no, we were supposed to write it. And it's, it was an issue going back and forth. And she was like, no, we're going to cut this out. Okay, we're not going to pray about it. We're not going to come and have a come to Jesus moment or whatever. Direct Shay at brave and brave did it right brave did it right instead of making that situation bigger she swallowed that shit for the moment and she was going to address it in another situation another setting a more private setting and i was like see that's what stacy don't know and don't do you have an issue with someone just because you write there sometimes you can't all all the time solve it right then and there you have to take yourself from that situation calm the fuck down and then address it later in a more calmer self and in a different environment, okay? And it just, <laughs> it just really irked me. <laughs> I was just like, girl, you got to be out your goddamn mind. You got so much shit to say. And this is, who the fuck are you? You are the fucking new bitch, okay? You the rookie. You still in audition um, stages, all right? These hoes don't fucking like you. Then she, um, she invited them to her skincare line launch or whatever and she was like i'm trying to apologize to them so let me call them out individually and apologize and get in this gift okay michelle was like yeah we ain't gonna be best of friends but you know we can be cordial or whatever that was big of her to invite us to the uh little thing i said i guess i wouldn't win that's just me if i don't like a bitch you know sometimes first impressions second impressions it says a lot and i just know Right off the bat when I'm not going to get along with somebody. And she's one of those bitches that I just wouldn't get along with. Because oh, I just want to know how to deal with it. Without cussing her out. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Okay? Shut it up. Oh, yeah. And then when they was at the um at Leela's house, she put it out there trying to say that it was could have been Chrisette that uh, put that story out about her. And I'm sitting here like, that's how Michelle got into it. Michelle was like... Chrisette don't even look like the type of person that do that. Don't nobody sitting around here going to do no shit like that. We don't care enough about you to do no shit like that. Then she tried to blame Michelle a little bit. And I'm like, bitch, Stacey, shut the fuck up. You probably did that shit your own self. Okay? I'm linking more towards that because you the only one that care about it. All right? Anyway, moving on. Um, Leela goes to a hair shop to get, uh, you know, the wigs and stuff for her uh, friend. That was cute. And her friend said the same thing that uh, we all been saying. Y'all supposed to be coming together to do this project. They need to understand what it's really about. Fuck all that fighting and bullshit and unnecessary drama. Let's get to what this project is about. Spreading awareness about cancer and getting early detected and all that shit. I said, thank you. Thank you. Like, girl, what the fuck? Okay, so after that, we gonna move along. Um, Stacy did at her skincare line, invite the girls to a performance that she was supposed to be at. 
uh, having later on. And they was like, well, if I can come, I'll, I'll come. No one gave a definite yes because everybody had other shit to do. And plus, bitch, I don't really like you. So, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to, you know, go to your shit. So, um, she wants to call and talk to Brave and Michelle and they go out to eat and right off the bat, they was talking to, you know, Stacy was giving the 411 on what happened at the studio and just going down the line. And then she started talking shit about Shantae and how Shantae did bring up talking about something she wanted 1%. Shantae said she wanted 1% of the earnings. Girl, it's for charity. All of the shit go to charity like um, Lila, Lila said. Shantae do be doing some sneaky stuff. I be looking at her sideways like, girl. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she did what she had to. And, you know, Stacey kind of put it out there like she had other beef with Shantae and they need to figure it out. And I'm sitting here like, if you have issues, why are you telling everybody else instead of that person? Tell that person, quit making and spreading it. Like, it's almost when you tell a person this, it's almost like you're trying to get that person and then the other person that you tell on your side. You know, that's what it feel like that she's doing. And, um... Brave was like, well, that's a good thing you brought this stuff up because, you know, I felt like you was, I didn't want to assume, but when you said that stuff about, you know, we not finna have a come to Jesus moment and pray and all that stuff. And, you know, Michelle was like, I wasn't even there, but that shit was total shade. And I was like, it was. And, and Stacey said, yeah, it was directed to you because we was at the house and, you know, you have a problem. You don't break out in prayer. You know, you're supposed to resolve the issue right in and there and, and all this stuff and yada, yada, yada. It's inappropriate and all this and blah, blah, blah. Yes, granted, whatever situation it is, you know, but that was her way of getting y'all to shut the fuck up at that moment in time. Who said she was going to break out and pray and say something right then and there? Okay, she's in a professional setting at that point. Okay, she know what to do and what not to do. She was at somebody, a friend's house. Okay, so therefore, that's what she did in the privacy of a friend's house. Okay, she's in a public set, a, a professional setting. Of course, she's not going to just break out to a kumbaya press session. Come on now. It was just it was just ridiculous and I think she was just trying to find a reason to get upset because next thing you know they going back and forth at each other and Stacy not Stacy Brave was basically like you know I just want to get that out because you know I don't want nobody to be offended or whatever and I don't want us to get into it and then I have to bring out the chick from Baltimore and here goes Stacy she took that statement so totally wrong and this is why I say she be reaching for drama she wanted so bad because she wasn't even listening listening Bray said I just don't want that girl from Baltimore to come out here goes Stacy well, I don't want the bitch from um, Brooklyn to come out. You want the bitch from Brooklyn to come out? Oh, you from Baltimore? Okay, you ain't seen the chick from Brooklyn. Bitch, we didn't say you saw the uh, girl from Baltimore yet. She said she didn't want her to come out, and she kept on repeating that. And when Miss Shalee was like, well, bitch, I'm from Compton. <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny. I was like, Stacy, shut up. And you wonder why people don't fucking like you and don't gravitate towards you. Instead, they propel away from you because you irritating. You do too much, you're fucking extra, and you're annoying. And you just don't, you don't want people to see you as aggressive and all this stuff, but yet that's what you give off. You, your first impression on a group, it was just not good at all, and it still has not been better. So when they get through with that, and she having her little, um, her singing thing at this club or whatever, first of all, that's the first time she was singing that song, and she was sitting back there with her manager, and she told her manager that, yeah, um, I invited the girls and if they show up, that'd be good. And then her manager said, you know, they kind of owe you to show up. And I said, owe you how? How does they owe, how do they owe her to show up to her event? Because she showed up to an event that, you know, she damn, it is it, not the same. Stacy girl, them girls are not obligated to show up to anything for you. You obligated to show up because you probably under contract. They obligated to be around you at a certain time because of contract or con contractual reasons. But they're not your friends. And for you to be this damn old sitting here talking about some, well, if they show up, this shows that they might give me a chance and I just want to be their friend. Oh, if they don't, this shows that they really don't want to be my friend and I just don't understand why. And that's a little hurtful and all this stuff. Like, really? 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 You need friends that damn bad? You want to be included that damn bad? Like, come on. You sound desperate and you sound pathetic as fuck. I want them to be my friend. Everybody is not meant to be your friend. 
Okay, everybody not meant to be. Look, bitch, y'all only talking and know of each other because of contractual agreements and because of this damn show. All right. Other than that, these motherfuckers wouldn't know who the fuck you are and wouldn't even want to be around you. Probably like, girl, stop it. Cut the bullshit. They didn't show up. I wouldn't have shown up either. I don't like you. Like, girl, what? It just irked me. That was just the episode. And then she wanted to call him out and ask him about it next week. Ugh, whatever. But yeah, I gave y'all a full ass review. I had some shit to talk about. I wasn't as irritated, but I was irritated. But I'll see y'all later. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Miss Stacy, I just don't see it for her. I really don't. She irks my nerves. I'll see y'all later.